And I just want to say this on video, Marty, if I happen to die of a cardiac event prior to getting my EKG or my, my, my workup by the cardiologist, I'm, I'm publicly donating my one wheel GT to you so you can finally experience the fun of one wheel. Yo, what's up, Duff here? Got my Sherman here. Got some uh, some little lights that I added here. They're, they just strap on, easily removable. Um, I saw these on a video that uh, someone did uh, where they bought these lights and they mount them underneath the pedals, like like on the pedal hanger, so you have like some light on the ground. Uh, but for now, I'm just trying them up here on the Sherman roll cage just for extra visibility. There's like a million different patterns, tons of patterns. Got those on today. Very exciting, I know. So today is Monday, the first day of my week-long staycation. I'm off all week. I, um, as I'm apt to do, I wanted to make sure that I at least was somewhat productive during my time off, and I made myself a list with, uh, I don't know, seven things on it, eight, I'm not sure. Somewhere between six and eight things were on the list, and I just completed it about an hour ago. So the rest of my time off should be list three. It's very exciting for someone like me. So we're doing a quick run here on the Sherman to go get my afternoon Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Seems like a good use of my time. So one of the reasons I wanted to get all my shit done uh, by today is tomorrow, my one wheel GT is supposed to show up. And uh, yeah, there's been some, uh, some feedback on the GT uh, that I wanted to talk about. A lot of good, but also uh, a couple uh, not so good things. It's super windy, hopefully you can hear me. I mentioned yesterday in the video I shot about the uh, solar system in the chicken coop. Uh, I'm mentioning it here because, well, I don't know why I'm mentioning it here, but I'm mentioning it anyways. Last week for my physical, I had an EKG done and the results came back as abnormal or borderline, borderline abnormal. So the end result is I'm gonna uh, get to go see a cardiologist in April sometime. Great news. It's weird, they lost two of the three umbrellas that they used to have out here. They were either stolen or they might have been damaged in the extreme wind that we had over the weekend. That's my guess. <clears throat> Just stuck. I just didn't pull hard enough. No, okay. How you doing? Uh, could I get a large hot coffee with cream and sugar? I'll be okay. Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you. I was forewarned that this coffee might not be very hot. I don't care. As long as it has caffeine, I'm good. All right. So I'm gonna head to my uh, my new favorite place to sit down and talk about things at the park. And it's so freaking windy, I can hardly hear myself talk. Crazy. The uh, county fair starts this week. Something I've gone to pretty much every year. I think there might have been one year, maybe two, that I didn't go to the fair for some reason. I don't really remember why, but um, I am questioning if I'm going to go to the fair this year. I don't know. The fair seems like something that you do with more than one person. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure if uh, we're going to be doing the fair this, this year. I'll live. All right. Here we are at a different pavilion near the uh, pickleball courts. I've been playing a lot of pickleball. I played some pickleball uh, last Friday. played pickleball, I don't know, half a dozen times now. I'm really enjoying it. It's a fun sport. Not very good at it, but it's fun. 
So anyways, yeah, let's talk about the one wheel. I'm, sp I'm still supposed to, according to FedEx, get my one wheel tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, my one wheel GT. And there's been a lot of um, people that have already gotten their GTs. And there's been a lot of content put out about it. And as is often the case, uh, the negative commentary gets much more traction than the positive commentary. That's just the nature of the beast. That's human nature, I guess, really. So I want to talk about the things that I have seen about the GT uh, that were on the negative side and if they make me any less excited to be getting my wheel. I heard, or I didn't hear it, I read uh, somebody in one of the forums said, hey, uh, man, I got my, my GT sitting here in the box and, and I'm debating if I want to just return it. And I'm like, are you serious? Wow. So anyways, let's talk about the negative things that I've heard about the GT. Uh, number one, it's not as fast as the One Wheel XR. And when you're saying fast, I should say uh, top speed. I saw the Float Life guys, they did a side-by-side -side test with a GT and a uh, XR with the, a, a CBXR, I guess is what they call it, with the enhanced battery in an XR. And the GT was faster off the line, which you would expect because it has more torque. But top speed wise, the XR was able to continue to accelerate into the mid 20s where um, with the GT, there seems to be a pretty hard and hard to overcome uh, pushback at right about 20 miles an hour. I think they said it kicked in like 19 and a half, 20 miles an hour. And a lot of people are jumping on the bandwagon. Oh man, look at this. The GT is slower than the XR. I mean, for me, that's a total non-issue. It, it's, it's a strange thing to me that people want to go you know, 25, even pushing 30 miles an hour on a one wheel. That sounds crazy to me, man. If, if you want to go to those kind of speeds, I really think you should look into something like an electric unicycle. Uh, it's bigger form factor, bigger tire. I think you, uh, you are better off going that kind of speeds in a different kind of device, not a one wheel. Uh, for me, uh, being able to ride right up to 20 miles an hour without tilt back, that's totally fine for me. I think the fastest I've ever gone on my XR is maybe 18 miles an hour. So for me, it's going to be great um, and, and by all accounts one consistent thing that they've said about the gt is it has tremendous torque um, much more torque than the xr and all the testing that i've seen it almost reminds me of like in the euc world they have um, high speed and high torque versions of, of wheels it almost seems like the gt is a high torque version uh, compared to the xr so to me that's not a bad thing number two range i haven't seen and i'm sure it's out there i have not seen someone try to do a max range test again the float life guys did a test between the cbxr and the uh, gt and the cbxr got more range but that's not a stock battery so i don't know how how much of an influence that should be future motion rates the wheel or the the board as being a 32 mile max range board I personally will put that to the test. I'll do the 20 mile ride on the GT to Dunkin' Donuts and back. I'll do that sometime in the next few days. I did that once on my XR and I got back on fumes. I, I think I literally had 1% left in the XR. I'm gonna try to do the same thing on the GT and see how it is, see how it feels. Should be an interesting test. Number three, and this is probably the most, uh, most click engaging, most eye, uh, eyeball attracting is ghosting. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with what ghosting is, and I actually have some first-hand experience about this, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. Ghosting is when you get off of a one wheel and the board continues to roll away from you like someone is on the board. Um, there's been some documented cases of that happening to some GT owners. Now, I think the amount of coverage um, compared to the amount of actual cases of this is way out of whack. But the, the, when it does happen, it is definitely a bad thing. I saw uh, today, earlier today, I saw some guy supposedly he said that the board was, I think he said it was upside down and it engaged, the motor engaged, and it actually ran out into traffic and got run over by a vehicle. So, yeah, that's kind of scary. I saw another video of some guy just, his, his was sitting, uh, right side up and it just took off and rode across the park until it ran into some brush or something. So, I mean, there is definitely some sort of issue there. And my guessing is it could be a hardware issue. 
like I said, I experienced this myself with my one wheel XR. There's a video I have on my channel where um, shortly after I got my XR, I was practicing in the driveway. Um, I was at that time, the only dismount I could do was the hop, the hop off dismount. So I, I came to a stop, I hopped off, the board took off <laughs> and rolled down the hill and I had to do like a Pete Rose dive and grab the board until it, uh, right before it ran into some standing water in my property. I remember that very well. I actually had issues with me falling off the board because the, uh, the, the sensor pad was not, uh, was not working properly. I would try to do the, the heel lift, the board would run out from underneath me and, and uh, during one session I cracked my head three times. I had a helmet on, but I, I fell three times trying to dismount because that sensor pad was defective. Um, in that situation, I, I contacted Future Motion and they sent me a replacement uh, sensor pad and I didn't want to wait, so I actually bought one <laughs> as well. So I actually still have that other one. I still have a spare sensor pad for the XR in my collection of parts. Um, but so, yeah, so that is a real thing and, and it, it can be a very dangerous thing. The only thing I'm skeptical about is how widespread it is. You know, if, if your board does have that, that issue, it's scary. And, and my guess would be it's probably something hardware related if that is, if that is going on. Uh, but time will tell. So yeah, those are the three negative things that I've heard about the, uh, the GT so far. <clears throat> so anyways, the question is, so do these things make you hesitant to get your GT? Are you less excited to get your GT with these reported issues? And the answer is no, not at all. You know, for me, the, you know, the, the tilt back at 20 miles an hour, that's a non-issue. Range, I'm gonna test that myself, but you know, I expect to get significantly better range than I did in my XR. If I don't, then I, then I would be disappointed. I will let you know how that goes for me. And finally, the ghosting issue. Again, yes, if that, if that is a problem with my board, that's something, it's good that I know about it, that I can, I can look out for it um, straight ahead. They used to have, um, I assume they have it for the GT, for the XR, they had a routine in the app where you could actually test the sensor pad functionality. So uh, maybe I can do that with the GT as well. But like I said, my suspicion is that that problem affects a very, very minute number of boards. So um, knock, on, knock on metal table, that's not a problem for me. So hopefully the the, uh, the board shows up as promised by FedEx. FedEx always frustrates me, man. It always seems like they can get stuff to you faster than they do. Um, like for instance, my board, according to FedEx tracking, was already in Florida in Alachua on Friday afternoon, and then there was there has been no additional tracking on it until um, I'd say maybe an hour ago, and it said it was in Port St. Lucie, Florida. So I'm hoping that it still gets here tomorrow. It better, man. They annoy me. They, they just, they, they don't really give a shit from my, my experience on meeting their estimated delivery dates. So hopefully I'm wrong this time and uh, it shows up as promised. As far as the rest of the week goes, you know, like I said, I have uh, most of my list items completed. Actually, I have all my list items completed. I plan to go see Batman this week. I want to do that. Um, I'm going to go play some semi-organized pickleball Wednesday night. Let's see what other fun things I'm going to do. And obviously, obviously I'm going to be doing a lot of riding on the One Wheel GT. A lot of riding, a lot of video production, a lot of testing of the One Wheel GT. And that should make for an uh, enjoyable, enjoyable week. I do, want to, I do want to do some other things out of the box. You know, things I wouldn't normally do, just relaxing things. I have a problem relaxing if you haven't figured that out yet, so. Yep, all right, coffee's gone already, so let's go. And I just want to say this on video, Marty, if I happen to die of a cardiac event prior to getting my EKG or my, my, my workup by the cardiologist, I'm, I'm publicly donating my one wheel GT to you so you can finally experience the fun of one wheel. Honest. Head Mac. And yes, I will talk about the uh, King Song S20 some more. You know, the latest and greatest. Or latest and not so greatest, but yeah, we'll talk about that, but uh, not in this video. This is something I've been wanting to do before they pull it out. They have uh, one of those speed monitoring devices on my street. We have a lot of people that speed on the street. I think the speed limit is uh, technically 30 miles an hour. I've been wanting to ride ride past it on one of my EUCs. A 
I figured the Sherman is, is uh, as good as any, right? So let's see. Let's see if we can make it flash. 31, 32. All right, we're technically speeding. Extreme. But not by a whole lot. All right, guys, I am back. Fun and fast little ride on the Sherman. And like I said, the Cliff Nose version is, I'm still very excited to still get my one wheel GT. Um, but that does not mean that there aren't issues with it. Um, there's issues when the pint when it was launched. I mean, there's, there seems to always be issues with PEVs when they're launched, which is very well documented in the electric unicycle space as well. But yeah, should be fun. We'll find out together, right? So if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting your channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're gonna subscribe, you can hit the notify bell, which is over there somewhere. Um, Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. I do have a membership on my channel. If you're interested in, in becoming a member, you can hit the join button down below. These people already are. Um, much appreciated. Number of perks you get for that, and um, you can find out more about it when you hit that button. Looking forward, much, very much looking forward to having an enjoyable week of not working, not being a slave to the house, and just kind of you know, enjoying life, trying to enjoy life more. You know. Sometimes I'm so busy dealing with life, I don't really enjoy it. So deep thoughts, <laughs> just what you're looking for. Deep thoughts, right? So, all right, guys, that's all I have for now. Until next time, definitely now. Elsa. Elsa, where are you? You don't want to say hi to me? Elsa. You don't come and say hi to daddy? What's up? Yeah, that's the wheel, that's the Sherman. You hungry? Are you hungry for supper yet? You hungry? No? You are? Okay. We'll get you some food. EUCArmy.com Home of the stamp That heads every wheel